Hello and welcome to my video on how to make a cool desktop background using GNU Image Manipulation Program or the GIMP. Okay, what you're first going to do is you're going to go when you've opened the GIMP. I'll leave the link in the description to download it. Go to open, no, new. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Advanced options. Put this down a bit because. Yeah, fill with transparency and press OK. OK. So as you can see, it's made a nice transparent thing, background. OK. So what you're going to do is you want to go to filters and render, and you'll see nature and flame. Press flame and wait for the box to load like this. It's perfect. Press edit. Um, I choose hyperbolic because this is the effect I want. I'm just going to choose that one. I'm going to change the brightness a bit and I'm going to zoom out a bit and I'm going to move it across ever so slightly. I might move it to that side. And I'm going to press OK. Now it's going to render the image. There we go. And here, the layers, what I recommend you do is duplicate the layer so that it makes it a bit more visible. And now we're going to want to go to colors and colorify. And just choose a nice color for it. I'm going to choose a nice light blue because I think light blue is nice nice colour for a background ok and what you're going to do sorry don't need to go to that anymore what you need to do after that is with your toolbox press the A sign and just click anywhere on it and then type in anything you want I'll just put that. Now I'm going to want to change the size a bit. And because it's a bit big on the screen, I have to change it like that. So look, my desktop background, the desktop background text goes here. And you can even change the, the colour of the text, I want to change it yet again to a, a blue so it matches I I'll just change that to text 001 just for the purpose of this video and to move it anywhere you want now I recommend if you want to a really really good background go to uh, a font website where you can download them and just get one of your own because they, they are helpful they're very helpful okay now you've done that as you see, uh, it is a very easy process to do it's good to save that to make the whole thing it's very easy so just do this go to save it to the desktop or something Select by file type, select extension file type, uh, save it as a JPEG or I'm going to save it as a PNG. Now, here, as you can see, it, it's, uh, I've selected browse for other file types. Now, I'm just going to create a folder called images and I'm going to select that and I'm going to save it. But I'm making sure it's saved as a PNG. So image one dot png. Now you can save it as a JPEG or a GIF or something, but I I um, tend to use it as this. Uh, most divisible layers, yes. I play export. Let's press save. Uh, 
and as you can see it will make your background like this now you can add other things uh, let's go back to the GIMP where is it? there it is when you go to filters and nature and uh, render nature and flame there are literally hundreds of things to do to get to use you've got all of these let's, let's go on spiral just look you've got all these to choose from to make a nice background I'm not going to go through them all in fact this is the end of my video and I hope this has been insightful and giving you some knowledge into how to make a nice background my next video will be how to make a certain part of, uh, part of an image stand out so I'm going to be using the example of a jogger maybe or uh, a sports person and I'm going to make them stand out so stay tuned for the next video and thank you for watching please rate, comment and subscribe thank you for watching, goodbye